Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hat Me Learning Path. So we're still in the pre-security path. I reset HTTP in detail. So let's get right into it. All right, let me uh, exit the split screen. So this one's still in the beginner learning path. So the uh, Try Hat Me does have a YouTube video. And I strongly recommend watching the video, read through the tasks to get a full understanding of what is HTTP. So this video, I'm just gonna show you how to answer the questions and uh, let's get right into it. So task one, what is HTTP then hyphen S? Answer the questions below, what does HTTP stand for? and it's hypertext transfer protocol. So I'm just gonna type it in, or you can copy and paste, but it's good practice. Okay. Next question, what does the S in SHTTPS stand for? Obviously it's secure. As you, uh, get better guys later. So the ports for HTTP is 80 and HTTPS is 443. Yeah. Last question on the mod web page on the right, there is an issue. Once you found it, click on it. What is the challenge flag? All right, let's click website. As you can see, there's this visual depiction. It means uh, not secure. So when you, once you click on it, you got the flag. So again, just copy and paste. There you go. All right, next one, next task, exit the split view. Request and response. So it talks about accessing a website. Please read through it. This visual depiction is a very good source. So example requests, this is a, an example response. And answer your questions below. What HTTP protocol is being used in the above example? So it's talking about the response and is using HTTP slash 1.1. Correct. All right. And it says, what response header tells the browser how much data to expect? So as you s look at this example, this would be content length. It says right here, content length tells the client how long the response is. This way we can confirm no data is missing. Nice, all right. Task three, HTTP methods. So it talks about the actions uh, during the request. There's get, post, put, and delete. So answer the questions below. What method would be used to create a new user account? So I believe it's post. Yes, submit data to the web server. Next question, what method would be used to update your email address? Update. That would be submitting data, so put. Next question, what method would be used to remove a picture you uploaded to your account? This is pretty easy, delete. Last question, what method would be used as a news article? Obviously it's the last one, so it's get. Done. All right, task four, HTTP status codes. So it talks about various codes for the response from the HTTP. You get better at it as you go along with these um, learning paths. Some of them you recognize like 200 is okay, 404 page not found, and 400 bad requests. So answer your questions below. What response code might you receive if you create a new user or block post article 
that would be completely created I believe it's 201 let's see all right yep what response code might you receive if you try to access a page that doesn't exist does not exist I believe it's 404 yeah what response code might you receive the web server cannot access database and application crashes so it says 503 server cannot handle your request as either overloaded or down for maintenance let's try 503 yeah and last question what response code might you receive if you try to edit your profile while logging in first currently not allow so i believe is for one yes it is all right task five headers So it talks about common request headers and common respond headers. Answer a question below, what headers tell the web server what browser is being used? That would be user agent, properly browser, okay. Might be user agent, let me check. That's correct. What header tells the browser what type of data is being returned so that's a response I believe is content type yes it is last question what header tells the web server which website is being requested what website is it set cookie what website it's hosts actually so cool all right I'll move on the next task six cookies so for me cookies mean is data stored in history so in the computer so it has a visual depiction of request and response how it looks like so there's only one question which header is used to save cookies to your computer so as you read through it it says cookies are saved when you receive a set cookie header from a wet browser so same right here save that should be the correct answer yeah last one task seven making requests so click the view site this is an emulator making demo HTTP requests use what you learn from the above task you can use it to complete the below questions all right let's do a split answer the questions below make a get request to room all right so slash room See, the answer is the text starting with the letters THM. Okay, so go. Bam. Right here, THM, copy and paste. All right. Make a get request to blog and using the gear icon to set ID parameter to one in the URL field. All right, so blog. Gear icon, parameter one. Well, actually, ID parameter. So, ID to one, save, exit, then go. All right, another one. THM, you found the blog. Copy and paste. Cool. Make a delete request to user one. So change it to delete user one. All right, go. All right, and users delete it, copy and paste. Submit, all right, awesome. Put a request, make a put request to user two with username parameter set to admin. So put 
user two, gear icon, parameters, user name, set to admin. All right, exit, let's see it goes. There you go. Username teach m has uh, user has updated. Cool. Well, oh, I didn't even click the hint, but it's uh, pretty simple. Once you get it down the first time, click the settings call to add a parameter to put requests. And the last one is post the username of tm and a password. Let me in to log in. So hint it says delete the parameter request from the last task as to add to username and password okay pose username teach him so let's go first let's put post log in and they said delete the last one so username and admin so Username is THM, save, and then the last one says password, let me in, save. Let's see, cool. THM HTTP TTP request master and submit. All right, there you go guys, completed. This room, you can share your award, Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, as I already share on my LinkedIn page. Uh, you like this video, guys? Please give a thumbs up, comment below of how I make these videos better. Hit the like button. And I'm just gonna spend more time making these videos for you guys, how to answer these uh, questions. I just passed my Network Plus, barely, but uh, I didn't waste my last two months as you can see i just passed it yesterday june 3rd this video I'm making is june 4th anyway guys um i like doing this so i'm doing this on my own time and out of my out of pocket of my own money and uh yeah thanks for watching guys till next time